something classic. So a few months ago, a new version of R rolled out, and there was a post by Dolly who visualized changes made to R. And who has seen this picture? I have seen. Very good. So I've seen it too. And you know, these are changes made to R. And changes are important, but changes just tell that something change. And they didn't, they don't give you an answer, is this change good or bad? So we had this idea that we can actually look at court critics, for example, and overlay them on this year. So I posted it somewhere on my blog. But the idea here is that you have the same city, and red parts are ones where more critics appear, and blue ones are the ones that were fixed. And there was a comment on my blog from some unknown user. I think that it can be Marcus Denker, but I am not sure. And the idea of this post was that, first of all, there was a package that just was introduced in Power 3. And this is this package. And you can see that there are sort of a lot of violations of rules. But this is new package, so is it bad or not? It's hard to tell. And also, this visualization really makes some sense because some packages were really fixed. For example, this is a Nautilus class, and it was fixed and it became blue. Another thing that was in this comment is that some smells aren't really smells. I mean, you say, like, coming bear smells, but it's how it should be. So maybe you shouldn't run some critics on tests and not. And for now, we don't have a distinction. And in the end, there was a really good suggestion. If you want to improve critiques, first use them on your own stuff. <laughs> so as I started to use them, I noticed this uh, workflow with critiques which is uh, you run critiques, and first you have this tree where you see what are the violations. It's uh, right there. Right? And then you see what are the violations in your entities. Then you fix them, and you rerun all the critiques and all, all the stuff that you have. The problems that I have with this approach is that the first two things actually don't give you overview of your system. They say that you have some problems. Now, do I have problems in my test packages and my example packages that maybe I don't really care about? Or do I have some uh, class which has a lot of functionality and I want to fix it? And next problem was that this rerun thing breaks your flow. I mean, you fix some stuff, and then you either remember it or you rerun something and you wait until it reruns on all the rules and you know that you fix just simple parts, so you need to fix that. And we tried to reinvent how you work with critics a bit. Now we used the same code city thing. If you're not familiar, there is like package, which is a big platform at the bottom. And then, then there are classes. And there are method blocks that form these buildings on the classes. Then also I had this idea that you can have a foreign class. right? You extend some class. And you don't want to have critiques of it. And actually, in Faro, at some point, it was running. <coughs> anyway, they are black. And then uh, dull red <coughs> blocks mean that you have less amount of critiques about it. And bright red blocks mean that you have a lot of 
critiques about it. And uh, this is, well, gray things obviously don't have any critiques. Now, next thing was that you can interact with this CD to fix your critiques. And that's why I want to demonstrate it to you. And by the way, this logo was made in rows of 3D. It's super cool. Yeah. <laughs> This is GD interface. Sorry? Yes, something like that. Because it's visual now. This is uh, your interface. And yes, what we have here is uh, actually a system that uh, was first used in Rosal 3D to build these cities. And uh, as you can see at the bottom in here, you have a description on what you are hovering about and then you can select entity and you can see its implementation and <coughs> yes, at this part you have rules so you can select rules and you have them overlaid on your system then you can select more and because you can select all the rules and all the system is red that's why I started to look at it right and for example, you can see that this is bright red and it has like six violations. And you can see this method and it is probably too big to try. And then you have some other things that are not so bright and some things that are really slightly colder. So what we can try to do now, let's try to deselect all the stuff and select, for example, coding medium violation. And then we have some problem here. Right? Let's look at this method. It says has bricks, then it iterates over all subbuildings, and then it checks if sub subbuilding has bricks, it returns true, if no, it returns false. And as it says here, it can use like all satisfy or any satisfy. Mm -hmm. So in fact, we can just put like self, subbuildings, uh, any satisfied and has bricks return delete all that save it whoop it disappeared mm -hmm. right this is what you expect you fix stuff yes I know that in fact in symptom there being something like this yeah <laughs> and here it also disappears obviously and you can fix other parts of that for example here here is not so interesting. Yes, here you have that uh, it uses size more than zero, and you can rewrite it as bricks is not empty, right? Again, it fixes the stuff, and you can see it here. Now, some things cannot be fixed easily from the interface now. For example, style problems and Let's look at here. We have a lot of unclassified <coughs> methods because who, who classifies methods? But we can try to use some features like categorize all uncategorized methods. And then it checks the changes made to methods. And you, have, you see that this thing changed, right? This is what you expect when you work with the live system. And for example, there are more, more situations like. How did it find the, the, the classification? Uh, how does it find the classification? I don't know. This is thing that is there in part. Uh, okay. So <laughs> I just show you. Okay, okay. okay. Don't worry. It's the idea okay. is that when you fix <coughs> something, you expect it to be yeah. to be it's validated, right? <laughs> yes, I think there is just some magic behind it. Anyway. For example, you see this node and it says method just sends super message. 
And indeed, it just sounds super, and uh, we don't need this method because the more methods we have that are useless, the more we have to man maintain and lose our power. Anyway, what we can do is simply delete it, right? And then we will, when we delete it, as you expect, it disappears because your city changes. Okay, so th there is no interaction for delete from this. Uh, not yet right now. Okay. I mean, you can throw a lot of things there, but you have to prioritize. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, let's find again some really bad method like this, right? And the other other usage that I thought could be interesting uh, for people, imagine that your student wrote this. And in fact, Alex Vergel's uh, student wrote this. And Alex checks this method, and then he just goes like, no, no, this can do. So he has note, and he says like, oh, this book here. method <laughs> is a complete No, 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 the positive, the positive one. Do the positive one. Yeah. The yeah. positive one. Yeah. Yeah. So then then you then you have this uh, this thing here and yes when you deselect everything it's still here for the moment, but I tried to figure out how you can pass this with code, right? So you can pass this to your student and he fixes it and then you review the thing again. <coughs> so more or less, oops, I've done something. Uh, so more or less this is the whole idea behind BD. And uh, Uh, so for now it's still a system that just uh, was born and it's still growing but at the moment you already have 3D visualization with highlights and uh, interactions you have synchronization between uh, tests and changes source code, you have synchronization between 3D visualization and source code, and you have some support for annotations. So you can get all of this on my uh, GitHub project page, and there is a description, how can you get this, and how can you run it on your code. One moment. And yes, of course you can, you should use issue tracker to report some problems about it, and I will see if I can push it. And this is VD. Thank you. So my question is, do you want to, to use different visualizations? Yes, this can be a really good option because maybe it's easier to have something 2D where you can really click fast and not fly around. Uh, no, some, something. This just started be because I started with the Dolo City, then I made my city, then I made my city interactable, and yes. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>